What I'm going to show you tonight is how to do a hybrid health check on your Toyota hybrid battery. On the screen here you can see the energy monitor showing I've got three quarters of a battery as the car sits at this moment in time. Right, to get the correct results for your hybrid check, you need to know two things. You need to know what the nominal voltage of your hybrid battery is and how many cells are in your battery. So, I know I've got 20 cells in this hybrid battery and the voltage, as daft as it sounds, you will find in the sales brochure that you picked up when you were going out to buy your car. And I'll show you where it is. Here's the sales brochure. And it says there, under 1.5 petrol hybrid, all the information on the engine, how many cylinders, 16 valve, VVTi, bore stroke, compression, power, and it tells you what type of battery it is, and it says nominal voltage, 144. Now, knowing you've got 144 volts and 20 cells, that makes a very simple sum. So you divide your 144 by 20, which will give you 7.2 volts per cell. Now what Toyota do is they block their batteries. So they'll link two batteries together in this instance and call them blocks. So I'll end up with 10 blocks. So now you're looking for a nominal voltage of 14.4 volts per block. You do need an OBD2 scanner to do this. Some will do it, some won't. I'm going to show you how to do it tonight on a launch X431 Pro S Mini and I'll take you through each step. So I've already set the launch up and I'm just going to go traditional diagnosis and I want Toyota. So T O that wasn't an O nor was that. There's Toyota. I'm submit that. The Bluetooth dongle dinks to say it's connected. I'm on the 16 pin OBD2 socket. Or data link connector as they call it. I'm going to do an automatic search and I'm in a Yaris hybrid. Between 2015 2017 it's a 2016 car. With a smart key. It's the car. And I'm going to go control units. And I'm going to go power control, power. Let's go back. Power train. And I'm going to go into hybrid control. I'll let it connect. And I'm going to go straight to read data stream. You'll have to find the appropriate PIDs to do the job. I want, there they are, battery vault. There's all the 10 blocks. So I'm going to pick 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm going to pick number ten. And I'm going to click on OK. And that's now giving me the voltage of the blocks. So what you're looking at there is battery cell 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10, 11 and 12, 13 and 14, 15 and 16, 17 and 18, 19 and 20. That's all 20 cells accounted for. Well, like I said, they put them in blocks, so you've got two cells per block. And as you can see, the cells vary a little bit. They don't vary a lot. Our lowest cell, 14.95. And our highest cell is 15.02. It's very, very little difference in them cells. I'm not going to worry about that as a reading. They're all within Toyota specs. To put an engine management light on, if you ever have a faulty battery cell, you need a difference of 1.2 volts. That's what will put your engine management light on. And you'll see the difference in the block voltages. Now that now gives you guidance and tells you which of the cells, or which block I should say, has got the faulty cell in it. So say we had... A low reading in block 5. That's telling me, if you work it out, and the batteries in these Yaris's and all the Toyota hybrids, as you're sitting in the car, if it's a right-hand drive car, and you've got the battery out of the car, the right-hand cell is number 1. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you look, it's narrowed it down to cells 9 and 10. What you'd do then is take all the jumpers off the batteries and you would measure the voltages because it's giving you guidance across the positive and the negative terminal on cell 9 and 9, yeah, cell 9 and cell 10. But whilst you're in there, you might as well check them all. And that's how you identify a faulty cell in a Toyota hybrid pack. It's very, very simple. I'm lucky. I've run hybrids now since 2006. I've had a Prius. This is my second Yaris hybrid. And I've never ever had an issue with one of these Toyota Hybrid battery packs, they've been absolutely brilliant. As you can see now, we're sat here and the voltages are slowly dropping. So I'm going to put the aircon on and see if the car will start charging itself. And see if the battery voltages come back up. Show you the power consumption meter, the energy monitor, and we're actually down to two cells. So 
engine's just kicked in now as you can see engine started and it's putting power back into the battery so if we go back to the launch you can now see the voltages are now coming back up in all the cells They're all slowly, slowly creeping back up. But that is how you do a quick and dirty hybrid battery check. I'll show you one more set of pins. get out of that set of pids in here also you have a pid for the internal resistance of each block this is another set of pids to check when you're doing a hybrid check So there's all the battery voltages, and if I scroll across, actually two of them are at the bottom here. Battery blocks, and at the bottom is the resistance of each block in ohms. 0 0.02, 0 0.02, that's block one and two. And then we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the resistance in every single one of them blocks is the same. From that you can deduce you haven't got any faulty cells in that battery pack. See we are still running, we're still charging. And the battery voltages are still climbing as they should. And there's very, very little difference between them cells. Like I said, to put the engine management light on, you need a difference of 1.2 volts across one of these battery blocks blocks and that puts the hybrid warning light on that's when you go looking and do this test just thought I'd throw that out there in case anybody anybody was wondering how to do quick and dirty hybrid check if you're not sure how many battery blocks are in your battery cell on the launch, if you click on the PID battery block number, I've also picked battery block max, battery block minimum. It's giving me the difference between the maximum and the minimum across the 10, 10 blocks and it's also telling me I've got 10 blocks in my uh, hybrid pack which I already know because I've got 10 blocks and 20 cells so that's another pin to go looking for if you're not sure and it's a hybrid you've not looked at before I know on the Prius Gen 1s, Prius Gen 2s they've got 28 cells in their battery packs so you'll have 14 blocks in a, a Prius as long as it's Gen 1 or Gen 2 I'm not sure on Gen 3s so 
so the information's all in your scanner if you want to use it it's all available you've just got to go hunting for it again I'll just show you how to quickly get into it It's in powertrain, hybrid control, then you read your data stream, then you scroll through your PIDs, find the PIDs you want, they're all in there. If you want to see what other PIDs are available, just pause the video or slow it down. All the information is in the video. And as you can see, there's 252 pids in the hybrid system to go hunting for. Lots and lots of information. So there you go. There's your quick and dirty hybrid health check.